Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with my review of the Kaleidos Makeup Futurism Collection. And I am first going to talk a little bit about the brand and the collection and then I'm going to go into reviews of all the three palettes, palette by palette and also do swatches and something here. And then I'm going to talk about the whole collection again and what I think about it. So I will leave timestamps down in the description if you only want to see a review of one of the palettes or if you want my like full review in the end. So you don't have to see this whole video if you don't want to because I think it's going to be a long video. So I think we just get started and I bought the whole collection and I got this in this PR box. I love when brand do this, that you can get your own PR box, um, so they just don't ship the palettes. I really, really love it. And this came so well packed. <laughs> it was like the biggest bubble wrap I have ever seen, and it was so good packing. Um, this is a cruelty free brand, this is not vegan. I think they have vegan things, I'm not sure, maybe they don't. And this is shipped from China and it came to me very fast, I live in Sweden. And one thing that I love about this brand is that if you... I didn't pay customs and it says on their website if you live in a country and have to pay customs for the package they will refund you. I love that so so much. So yeah, um, this whole collection cost $59, each palette cost $24, so you're saving a lot of buying all the palettes. I don't encourage anybody to buy free palettes if you don't want them all, but just to know the prices. And um, maybe we should just get this little thing open. It's a magnet here. And then... <laughs> When I open this, it looks like this, so you get a little message from the future. Everybody gets this, it's just like a little thing about them. <laughs> and then when you open here, it's very well packed in this box as well. And then you have the free, this is so big, you have the free palettes here. Um, so they look amazing and I think I can just show you how the palettes are looking and then we dig in to each of the palettes. So they all come in this a little paper bag, bag, box and you take the palette out and the palette looks just as amazing as the packaging. This is like the most beautiful palette I have ever seen. I really love um, this shiny, see this is gold. This is the Futuris Futurism uh, one, sci-fi green. Number two is the bronze one, it's the cyber bronze. And it has like a rose gold shimmer to it and also on the back. And the last one is Astro Pink, and I guess that this is a pink one. I don't really know when I think about it. Yeah, so this has a shimmer pink on packaging, and it just looks amazing. And the palettes, they are a little bit different. I love that they are uh, the same size. Uh, I would have made it if they were different sizes. The, the box is very clean, it just says Kaleidos and then Futurism Sci-Fi Green, a little here, I don't know if you can see it, maybe I can zoom in. Um, they are very, s they are pretty heavy because they are pretty small and they are pretty heavy for their size. They are a little like rubbery and very sturdy. And now I see this isn't gold, this is green. Or do you just see the gold? I don't know. Um, they are very sturdy and the magnets are very good and the palettes are a little bit special. You open it like this and then like that. 
and uh, they look like this. They have a mirror. I love that. I love mirrors in palettes. Um, one thing I don't like, um, almost the only thing I don't like about palettes, the names of the shadows are on this little plastic and nowhere else. I like to know what the shadows I'm using is called, but I never save this because I hate these. I know that some people glue them here. I'm not gonna do it because I want a clean palette. So they look like this. I really, really, really love it. So I think we can start with the Cypher Green one. I will leave my first impression up here. So this is the green one and I will swatch them on my arms so you can see this amazing colors and then I will talk a little bit about a little more about the palette. These are the swatches of the sci-fi green and I love this palette. I love like all the shades. It has two matte, uh, four mattes, two shimmers. This one, I really love this one. I love colors like this, like a little dirty orange. I don't really know, mustardy. And the shimmers are this gold one. This is amazing. And this green one is also amazing. And these two green... They look pretty different in the pan. They look pretty similar in the pan, but they are different when swatched. And I think you can see the difference when you have them on your eye. And also, it has this black matte. This matte black one that is amazing. I have that on today underneath this shimmer. <sighs> this performs super good. The shimmers are amazing, the greens are amazing, the black is amazing. It's pitch black but it's buildable up to pitch black. I think it's so hard when you have a black shadow and it's like pitch black from the start because if you take too much you're like screwed. This isn't pitch black from the start and you can work it out so I really love that. I actually think that this is my favorite palette among these three palettes. That feels a little bit odd. I have nothing to complain about in this palette. At all. Nothing. It is an amazing palette. I really, really love it. And I, I love this the most, I think, because this is really a green palette. These two, I think, they go good with green theme, but this is, like, really... It's a really good color story of this palette. So that is why it is my favorite. <laughs> so yeah, this is the sci-fi green. So then we can go over to the cyber bronze. I thought that this one was going to be my favorite, but it's not. It looks like this. So this has three shimmers and three mattes, and then it's three shimmers up here, and then the mattes down here. If you have seen my first impression of this, I think you know which one my favorite is in this palette. So these are the Cyber Bronze and I love, love, love this one. I think it's called Infrared. This reminds me a little bit about Swan, Swan, Swan. I have such a hard time to pronounce that from the Kat Von D and Too Faced palette. So I'm really glad that this is like a really good dupe. Um, so yeah. That is my favorite shade in this palette. I like this palette, but these three shades... <laughs> there's nothing wrong with them. But I wished that there was like a dark matte red. I know that this palette is called Cyber Bronze, but like a little bit more bronzy. Like this brown shade, it is a good shade. I have nothing to complain about any of the shadows, but I wish that this was more red and more bronzy. The one thing I really like <laughs> about this palette is that they put a silver in this one. Really love it. It feels like the obvious thing would be like gold, but they put a silver in it and I love that and it's a really good silver. So these are the swatches of the Cyber Bronze. What's happening outside? I think that all the palettes have the same quality and I'm really happy about that because it feels a little bit scary to buy like three new palettes from brand you have never tried. So yeah, that was a little bit swatches and short talking about the Cyber Bronze and now we're going to the Astro Pink. So the Astro Pink, 
this was the palette I think I would like the least, but I really like this. It looks like this, so this also has... It has two shimmer or maybe... Okay, this pink one is a shimmer. This one is like a duochrome. I don't know. Okay, now it's blue. Now, I hope you see it's pink. I don't know if you can see on my eyes that it's blue and purple. And this black has some shimmer to it, but when you blend it out, the shimmer disappears. So this is the Astro Pink, and these are the swatches. This dark fuchsia, I don't know how to describe this color. This is amazing. If you have seen my first impression, this is like the most opaque shadow ever it feels like. Um, this I have used today and also in my first impression. In my first impression I used it in a halo eye and then I really had to pack it on to get it opaque. Today I have put it over the black one from the sci-fi green palette and I think it looks better like this. And I have just like swooped it over. Super easy and it's such a cool shade. No, I I think you can see it's still chrome. Um, this pink is super opaque for shimmer shade. These shimmer shades are amazing. These two last colors, I don't... It's nothing wrong with them, but I would wanted something more pink. Because this is called Astro Pink. I have one, wanted to have like a bright, super bright neon pink matte that would have suited this palette so good. I think you have, could have done amazing looks with the black. Um, but it is what it is. It is good shades in this one as well. These colors are not so fun. That's just my opinion. So that was something short about all the palettes. So now I will talk about all of them together and talk about this as a collection. So I was thinking about a little... <laughs> talk about both the negatives and the positives and it's far more positive things I have to say about these than negatives so I think I would just start with the negatives and the most obvious for me is that the names of the shadows aren't in the palette. I don't like it. Another thing I think is a little bit boring is some of the colors that I have just talked about. Super good but for you it just hopped onto here. Um, I think of this as a collector's item and I think you are supposed to buy all the three because they sell them as a collection and I think a lot of people buy all the three palettes. It's only six shades in each palette and it's only 18 shadows with three palettes and there are a lot of boring shades. I'm going to show you all the palettes as once. This is... I, I like the packaging, but it's so freaking not YouTube friendly. I don't know if you can see, but the green one... I think the green one has the best color scheme because it's like all green and... a black, but I like the black in that. The one on the top, the... Cyber Bronze, three of the shades. I think they could have done something more fun and also in the Astro Pink in the bottom two of the shades are pretty boring. I think they could have done something more fun. So when I you do if you do like me and buy all the free palettes, it's like it's too many boring shadows for have all the free. I guess when you buy only one of the palettes, it's more okay. But when you buy all the three, which I think were their point a little bit, it feels like it's too many safe colors. I don't think that it's so fun. And I think that like this is not, if you want to try makeup, you're not going to buy this and nothing more. And I think most of the people that buy these has some more interest in makeup and also more interest in colorful makeup and then I think you can go outside of the box, take some colors that are not safe colors and experiment more. I think they have 
been so much more fun if it wasn't for the boring colors, especially in this one and also in this one. The green, love it. But these two, I think they could have done something more fun. I still love them, but they could have been more fun. And about the formula of these, these are some of the best formulas I've ever tried. I have nothing to complain about any of the matte colors. The metallic and the shimmers, they are in the same quality as UVS. And I don't think I have ever said that about any brand before. But these shimmers and metallics, they are in the same... They have like the same quality as US Place. And that I think is the best grade I can give because UVS Place shimmers and metallics, they are like in a class of their own. They are amazing. So for these shadows, for a little indie brand, I think this is their second release. To have this good of a quality is amazing. It will be so fun to see what they are doing in the future. So yeah, I am so glad that I bought this whole collection. If you only want one of the palettes, just buy one of the palettes. And I wouldn't say that any of the palettes is a bad buy. If you like more, if you like the colors in the Astro Pink, buy the Astro Pink. If you like the color in the Cyber Bronze, buy the Cyber Bronze. If you like the colors in the Sci Fi Green, buy the Sci Fi Green. Just buy the colors that you like if you don't want to buy them all. So yeah, I think that will wrap up this review. I don't know how I did because, as I said, reviews isn't my thing. I am not that like organized to do a review, I think. And I don't know what to say sometimes. So yeah, I really hope you like this video. And have you bought this collection? Or are you thinking about buying this collection? Are you thinking about buying maybe one or two palettes? Have you bought it? What did you think then? It would be so fun if we could talk in the comments which one you like, if you want to, if you do whatever. If I should rank these palettes, the sci-fi green is my top one. I didn't think that at all when I bought them, but this is my absolute favorite. <laughs> it's so hard. I love the cyber bronze because of that infrared shade and also the silver is amazing in this one <sighs> but it's just these other colors here i don't really i actually don't know but i think maybe the cyber bronze and then the astro pink but i love the astro pink as well that's hard maybe i should just end it with i love them so this was my review of the Futurism collection from Kaleidos Cosmetics. I will leave their website down below. When I'm recording this, this collection is still in stock if you want to buy it. And yeah, I really hope you liked this review video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. Oh yeah, one more thing that I almost forgot. Okay, I forgot more things. Okay, the things I forgot. With the formula, I love the formula, but it's one thing you maybe want to know. I don't think it's a bad thing, but it's maybe for some people. I have hooded eyes, as you can see, and when I have a shimmer all over my lid, it likes... I don't know if you can see it. It lies in my... It's not a wrinkle. It lies in my lines where my eyelid is folded. Um, or where it is hooded. It doesn't wear off the color. It doesn't look when I'm just talking to somebody or is winking my eyes as normal. Blinking, winking, blinking. <laughs> you can't see it and it's like all other shadows that I've tried. So when I have all shimmers on my lids if I stand like this, you maybe can see it, but I do never stand like that. So it's nothing negative for me because I don't care. Almost every shim I use do that, but it doesn't wear off. It doesn't show that it has light in my lines. Um, some shadows can like wear off and make a harsh line or something. This does not, but they lace a little bit in my lines. No worries. 
And staining, I have only found uh, one of the colors staining and that is this one in the astro pink. But it's not a bad staining. <laughs> um, it, it is gone to the next day but if you hate staining just know that this shadow stains. But it goes away. I had the staining on when I went to bed after I took off my makeup. When I woke up it was gone. But just so you know it's one shadow that stains in this one. So that was all for my review video. I really hope you liked it. I am sorry if I'm babbling and rambling and saying things that makes no sense at all. I really love this collection. I really love the brand. So yeah, I hope you liked it. I have already said that. So I just think I will stop now. So yeah, if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye!